Aww. Aww. Oh, that was when she was cute. Yes, well, she's just foaming at the mouth. <laughs> you know what? I've never seen that. Where are they at? I have never seen this picture oh of them. Gosh. I have no clue. I think they're right yeah, 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 so happy. Yeah. 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 Why are you recording? I think. Because <laughs> I think y'all funny. But I think they're in. Um, How What is that place they, they went to? That time when they kept that the on I'm talking about that trip. Oh, when they God. visited Uncle Rick. That's a lot. Denver? Yes, I think that's what they did. We're Denver. going to Denver. There go mama. There go mama. Can you close that door? Because this is what always happens when I do a vlog. Okay, let's vlog. Everybody be let's talking blog. downstairs and so you can hear the them. Are you, are you staying for this church trip? She can. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. She just stay far. Look at all those ties over there. What did Bree. you do with that? I thought we were vlogging. We are. We're talking about ties now. Oh, wait. That is a lot of ties. I like that catchy one. I like that one that looked like you got a scripture. Yeah, I like the wait, one that wait, wait, wait. You talking about the, the, um. How are you guys? I need to put it in the I'll give you like two more minutes. Just go ahead and keep going. <laughs> Today, um, we are wearing our ties in support of church. Um, not really, but <laughs> what did she say? What did she say? We're going to talk about church hurt today um, because of the video that's going around about Leandria Johnson and her comments that she made about the church. Like she said, if the church and stuff. No. So, guys, guys. Oh, oh, she did. She did. Oh, I knew you, Sierra. I really cheated because I was looking at you do it, and you did it right. But you did the last. You you tried to tuck this one. You're supposed to tuck this one. Oh, I did it backwards. <laughs> India got the tie challenge. <laughs> I didn't know it was a challenge. <laughs> Wait a minute, this and it looks horrible. That's all right though. I got it. But yeah, so she said f the church. So we're we're gonna talk about like um, she that. said what she said f the church. Cause I didn't, I you didn't see honestly, the video? I never knew what this was about. And just, I just, I you just saw everybody talk about church hashtag hurt. Hashtag church hurt is where I, is what I know. Yeah. Of, so. so it started from her, her video yes. in here, but yeah, basically, okay. Marvin Wines, I guess this is what triggered it. I'm not sure. Marvin Wines had ignored her. They were somewhere in the same place in a green room or whatever. And he ignored her and didn't say anything to her. And she was offended by that. And she was like, she listened to his music all her life. And she didn't think he was that type of person. And stuff like that. A lot of people say the same thing. I like Kurt Carr. Yeah. Other people. A lot of them are like that. Yeah. And then she said that she knows a friend who knows Marvin Wines. And she said that he said he would never um, associate with her because of the way she portrays herself. So that's why he didn't speak to her. So yeah, oh, I can't she was that. really offended. Um, she kind of should be right by that. <laughs> well, it's another. But you know what though? So many. This is a real issue, and so many young people are sick of the yes. church in their judgmental ways, and they see here because you know it's crazy. Like you get to talking about these older people. These older people really got some problems. Like most people don't know that their granddaddy is an alcoholic, and that's or exactly that, what she was talking you know, about. And I mean, too. and I mean, well, alcohol, like not for recreation, but like yeah. they straight up come home every day, and then they change into mm -hmm. a horrible person after they drink and they beat on their wife and beat on their right. kids, and don't nobody in the church say nothing. That's a deacon. That's exactly what her. Point but they got a problem with her smoking and drinking, and she's mm -hmm. still doing. I mean. Right. And she said just because you don't uh, see them doing it don't mean that they're not doing it. And she said that's what really messed her up because she said when she was little, she thought, oh, these people got it together. Mm -hmm. Like they doing all the right stuff. And then she said when she got older and she realized, oh, that's what you really be doing? But you getting on me about what I'm doing. So that's what her whole point in that second video, I think, was about. Like she was like, this is why I don't F with the church. Like I said, a lot of... Because they fake. And I mean, 
They are. We, but see, hey. we come from a different type of church, church. So our church, church is different than yeah, than that. Yeah, like we it we not wouldn't say that we was judged. I mean, we 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 weren't allowed to do stuff that we should have really been allowed to do, and it really mm-hmm. wasn't a problem doing it. Like there's no reason why. We, you know, after we dance at church, the whole dance is appropriate. It's not like we up there twerking and stuff. You come up, not to the we did a good job. You ain't clapped your hands. You ain't did nothing. But come back to the back. Mm-hmm. You know, after we finish everything and just y'all need to um stop all you know stop doing this and stop doing that and that dance wasn't appropriate. That music wasn't appropriate. Or they didn't like this or they didn't like that. I'm sorry, but when did you become Jesus and when did I start trying to please you? Right. I don't right. dance to please you. Exactly. They they jumping up and down as a sin at that church. Right, like because you have Why did I get jump- kicked out at the uh, kids' choir? Because I jumped up and down the anniversary. True. Mm-hmm. Well, at least y'all got to have your anniversary. Right. That's true. We I practiced know. for how many months? Get up to the anniversary and, and escort our musician and out. And he escorts the musician out by the police. Right. That's church hurt. That's that church hurt right there. Yeah. And the whole program that you've been practicing for for what, three or four months is canceled and people wondering why I'm sitting up here saying what I have to say. I mean, that right there is just plain and simple nonsense. I was trying to uh, get my dad out of church. I was like, kind of right there. Mm-hmm. But they were trying to kick him out of church. I was like, she's like, how did you feel about that? I was like, Sad. You was about to cry. Yes. And how old are you? Eight. But you was seven then, right? So they about to make seven year olds cry in the church for no reason, pretty much. Because they're trying to arrest somebody's dad because he walked on the premises and and he rejected a job offer. And that's why, like, I mean, they're, they're, we're not violent people. Right. No. We're not going to run up there with guns. We're not ghetto. I mean, our whole family comes from mean like that. Right. And our grandma would slap us in the forehead, right. like all of us, no matter how grown we are. So, But you try to arrest somebody for you no reason. He wasn't even being combative. I mean, right. he didn't say anything. He got up there to but the piano. No, the police officer was there before we even made it to oh, church. Oh, yeah. The police officer was already she there. She was there the whole Sunday. Due to them saying that we were threatening them on Facebook. Because, because somebody said, said there they was a band of monkeys. Which that's they what, are. I mean, but my thing is, you right. know, you can talk about people, but that's not a threat. It's not right. a threat. Um, and that's not a reason for you to sit here and say, um, you know, and now, you know, before I deleted the post, and I'm never going to delete the post that I that I made um the other day because I oh you it. deleted it? No, the other one you remember? You did? The one she made last year? Yeah, the one I made last oh, year. Oh, I didn't grandma, delete. Why? I know you didn't delete yours, but Grandma made me delete. No, Kendra wanted to make me delete it. But I ain't deleted it, and I'm never going to delete it. And when it comes back up on my timeline this year, I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it too. Make it I'm going to share it too. Share but you can't. You see, this, this is a prime anyone. example, though, because you got people who so, so want to look good. And I mean, they just want it to be no conflict that she done had to delete a whole Facebook post because she had pressure from these old fogies talking about so you need to delete this because it made people uncomfortable. Sometimes you need to be pushed out your comfort zone. If Jesus is out your comfort zone, then we got an issue. They comfort zone seem to be somewhere with H double hockey sticks. That's all they got going on out there. So Jesus is outside of their comfort zone. They got mad. Sometimes you got to get pushed out for, the, for you to get the Holy Ghost. That's why that's why I got kicked out the choir because they don't like that I catch the Holy Ghost. Guess what? I catch the Holy Ghost downstairs in my room and I jump up and down just like I do at the church. I ain't never scared. Anyway. That was a little. <laughs> that was a little rare. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a difference between but, picking and choosing your battles and then being peer pressured into not posting something. The there's a difference between picking and choosing your battles and not saying anything at all, like when something clearly needs, needs to, be to be said. Yes, right. Something clearly needs to be said. And my thing is, I, I just don't like. I mean, and you know, I was pregnant at the time, so everybody was telling me to calm down. If and everybody knows whether I'm pregnant or not, I'm a hype, passionate person. So, especially if something's bothering me and you have no grounds for doing what you're doing, you don't have a single ground for doing what you're doing. And you think I'm going to be scared of what? Right. You and your lawlessness? Where's your badge? You don't even have a badge. Right. That 
Y'all right, really what are you going to do? For real though, y'all. I really think that that officer was off duty and she just had her uniform on and came up to church because I've seen her multiple times. Her friend, times. I really her wish friend I would have to the just, church. I really mm-hmm. wish I would have just called 911 because if I would have called 911 and she would have been up at that church and she off duty, she would have been in trouble. She would have gotten in trouble. I'm surprised. I really she wish did. I would have. Because she know the rules and regulations. She, 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 she did. She did. And told her, you, you don't have no right to tell nobody to go anywhere. But I really wish I would have went ahead and called because that was my first thought. But I just was like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. But if I, I but what but right I, does a pastor have to call? And it, my, well, really, my question is, cause, okay, I guess you have every right, and I guess that's his point. You know, anybody really has a right to call the police up there if they yes, feel if they do. feel threatened, if they feel threatened. But the, it has to be something done for you to feel threatened. Us coming you to can't church just for our anniversary call the not police, threat. right? You can't just call the police just because. And you know we're coming, right? right. So that's why I feel like it you didn't address it the morning of. You didn't ask us not to come. Right. You didn't ask anybody not to come. Right. So I don't understand why when we get there, it's a, it's a problem. Oh, and like then that. just because you are the pastor of a church, you don't own no church. Exactly. So that it does Can not go by like, like time. how you calling the police? It's not the church like is not even really spiritually speaking. The church is not even something for you to really own in the first right. place. You're, like a house. Like if somebody came over here, grandma could call the police on them. Cause you were on her property, but you can't do that at no church. That's not his property. It's not. So that's why I was just like, I just don't see how this is even legal. Really, it wasn't. Because it wasn't. It wasn't, and that was the problem. But yeah, you're literally just using the little piece of squeeze authority that you have, right, to do something stupid like that mm-hmm. to drive the rest of the people at church away. And honestly, I feel like the church is gonna end up closing down. It is, and it's been going on there for twenty years. I wasted. I wish I had a piece of paper that I could put in bold 55 <laughs> font. <laughs> wasted. Right. 20 some years where I could have been somewhere. And I really just wish I could go back in time and tell my mama. Right. Let me go. I take me it. somewhere else because it's not just about you. My whole spiritual being is suffering at this church. Exactly. And we still. But we see the thing about it is though, while you're there, you don't know that, especially as a kid. Right. But now that I'm older and, and in a church with people who have sin, right? And people who are actually under some type of freaking anointing. You know, is is different, right? It's completely different. I look back and I'm like, seriously, right? You have no clue. That's the thing that I always be mad about. I'm like, I had no clue oh when I was little that what church really was. Right? We in there playing. Yes, we in there playing. No, and don't get me wrong. Now you can you can still go to a good church mm-hmm. and be playing as a kid because yeah, the kids can. the kids are telling But the but, thing is, right that. At least, if you are going to an actual church, you know what it what it's really about. Exactly, and you seen real church. Right, like you don't only, you haven't seen just pure nonsense all exactly. the time, pure chaos all the time, and you that's literally what sitting in the pulpit. Is. Exactly, but it's not, and that's what really made Make me mad. Because when I realized this, I'm like 19, 20 years old. Exactly. We didn't leave till you left before we left, like two years before. Like everybody pretty much left at about the same age. Right. Everybody got sick of it at about that nineteen to twenty year old age. Like I'm not doing this. But I'm just grateful that we never stopped looking. And I feel like wasted. Yes. Wasted. But I'm like nineteen and twenty years old, and I'm just now figuring out. Wow. A lot of stuff. Are you serious? On the spirit, uh, I figured out stuff on the spiritual level that I really feel like I should have figured out when I was like three. Right. And I, <laughs> the one thing that I do say about the church that we went to is that I did learn a lot of Bible stories that I still know. I learned scriptures and stuff like and that. that. Church was a but church behind God. behind the scriptures, there was nothing taught. Like only thing I know is what it said. I didn't know what it really meant because the preacher didn't know how to preach and he's up there every Sunday no saying the same thing. No one attempted to go 
bring and you know the what? And this is not, but this is this is the problem. This is the real problem that I have. I feel, I feel, it feels crazy because I feel like they didn't. Apparently, they didn't have. I can understand if, they, if this is like was like the fourth or fifth bad pastor that they've had. Like they right. already had bad pastors. Yeah, they actually used to have a really good pastor yeah. before he died. So you know what a good pastor looks like. And, you're still at this and y'all, how did he even get up there? Right. Because I promise you that that like I just and then you know the people everybody was sense of course was completely against it from the beginning and then once people just decided they were gonna do whatever they wanted to do, um, you know, most people left. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then and that made honestly I ain't gonna say that made it worse, but I mean it did because then after, did, after yeah. people left, like we just started doing less activity. Right. Because um, you had good people who right. actually did good things in the church, but you drove all of them out of the church. So now you have people who never did anything, and then you're trying to put them in a position over something, and they don't even know what they're doing. But all the people who knew what they were doing, you drove them away. Just like the deacons. Don't know what they're doing because you drove all the good deacons away. Mm-hmm. You have no, no clue. clue the job of a deacon. No clue. No clue. But you're trying to be a head of a deacon board. But you don't even know what the job of a deacon you is. You don't even know what a deacon is. So I just don't get that. How how do you put yourself in a position? And that's the thing. You're putting yourself in a position because God didn't place you there. Nope. He just let you stay there. Or, well, y'all know. Well, I don't know. I don't know if y'all was up there on that Sunday. You know, God appointed Saul to where Saul was at, but he took that anointing away and still made him mm-hmm. work that position till he had his replacement ready, pretty much. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's how I feel like they they just sitting there following behind whoever they wanted, not doing what they know needs to be done. Mm-hmm. Not not doing what they know needs to be done. All in the spirit of what they will always say, not causing confusion. Um, which really I just found it to be more of them saying they don't want to stand up for themselves. Right. right. Um, which some people I can I can genuinely say I can see them saying they don't want to start confusion because they actually will say something in certain circumstances. Mm-hmm. And in other circumstances they would keep their mouth closed. But there are some people who go there who have never said nothing but get behind closed doors mm-hmm. and got all this smack yeah, right in your mouth. Like you're not a member. Right. And I bet those are the same people who don't vote. Right. And that's how Trump got in there. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't act on all that talking. Walk it like you talk it. Mm-hmm. If you, action if behind them words. If you don't like if you don't like somebody, the next time the vote come around, get them out of there. Right. And that's your power. Right. How many votes do they have to have old boys out ousted from the pastor position? Too many to count. And the only ones that was vote. Oh, see, we don't want to cause. Complaints. But let's talk about church hurt. Now we're talking yeah. about the right, the, like, the other type the of background church hurt, of the church. But what about church hurt? Like, how have you ever been tr- hurt by the church, Sierra? You first. No, I don't want to be first. You want to get my stuff together. Oh, uh, Indian. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I mean, I haven't experienced church hurt. Like, I mean, I guess because first of all, number one, I haven't been put in any type of place of authority or anything like that. So I, I feel like what Leandria Johnson's going that's her name, right? Leandria Johnson. All right, okay. Just making sure. Um whatever she's going through is not I mean it's not something that I can relate to because right. but you know about it though. You right and, and I, her position but right. and I just feel like it's really sad that um you know um People like, you know, people who are really famous, like pastors or um, people who everybody knows very well, don't realize how easy it is to come off as being arrogant. Yeah. It's so easy to come off as being arrogant. And while they're always telling people, you know, oh, I don't want to cause no confusion. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I mean, you're supposed to be trying to, trying, you know, not to, try not to make yourself appear that way. Right. I mean, you really shouldn't. Because my thing is arrogant. Because you're representing Jesus. Exactly. Wherever you go, I don't care if you are tired. Like, y'all don't think Jesus got tired? But was he rude to people? Right. So, if that's who you represent, then you should represent him at all times, not just when you feel like it. Right. So, is that the same thing as saying, though, like, when people, when somebody's, like, cursing you out and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, do you have a right to address that? Of course. 
you always have the right to stand up for yourself. I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, you don't have to curse back, right. but you can say what you feel. You can say what you're not going to do. Right. Like, I'm not gonna stand you can stand up for yourself, you. period. Nobody yeah. is going to just treat you like you don't matter, and I'm just going to sit there and let you do it. No. That's not how that works either, but you still have to represent like, like if somebody's just trying to speak to you I don't understand what's, what's the problem what's the, and it's not like she's somebody that's trying to use you she already has her own platform yes. she's not trying to use your platform to springboard herself anywhere because she's honestly if somebody was to say y'all two names standing together, together <laughs> I would have low-key thought they was talking about the comedian Marlon whatever, you know what My, I'm talking about Wayans. Wayans. Yeah. I would have low-key thought they were talking about the Wayans brothers really so if you really want to be honest I mean right. she popping in your old new I bet you couldn't name a Marvin Wayans song <laughs> but you know Leandria Johnson's song so is Marvin Wayans the one that sang on that track with um Karen uh, with Byron uh, mm-hmm. Cage, yeah. Yeah, see, I used to have oh. like you, but now I'm having that song. That's BB and Cece. That ain't even him. That's his sibling, right? Oh, them the one is that I really know in the first place, anyway. And Vicky, I know Vicky. And yeah, Vicky yeah, yeah. Is his, is his ex wife. <laughs> so, who are you? He <laughs> got a brother named Carvin. Yeah. But he a pastor, there too. So that's why I mean, like, apparent like what we just addressed. A anybody lot of people know him. Anybody can be a pastor. True. Unfortunately, because uh, really can be a pastor. But he a pastor. But yeah. So anybody. Oh, anybody really can, can be a pastor in yeah. some of these churches. But I saw a post where somebody said, "If you really, um, I can't remember exactly what it said, but I just felt like it was stupid. It was like." <laughs> but it was like uh, you're not even supposed to be you know going to church with your human side you're supposed to be spiritual so if you're being spiritual nothing so excuse church me let me you. die real quick so my spirit can <laughs> leave me and go to church right let me die they said so if you really being spiritual then you shouldn't be getting hurt by stuff that go on in the church that's what I saw a post that said that it's just like what I don't even have a rebut. I mean, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. No, no, ma'am. It's so stupid. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, No, no. Ah, incorrect. I'm so mad. Go read your Bible. Like, I can't even. Like, it was just so stupid. Oh. And I was going to comment on it, but then I was like, it's no point of arguing. Because you know what? And that's what I had to learn, bro. Like, you cannot argue with everybody on Facebook. You really cannot. Because, number one, you will have to put yourself down. Right. To the level to really argue with them because what they say is so stupid, you gotta break down first of all why what they're saying is dumb. Right. So I they can understand that they need to stop trying to build on that dumb argument because the foundation is stupid. Exactly. So that means the entire argument is gonna crumble eventually in some type of way. But whatever. That's right. just me and my debate team. Too. <laughs> I mean, this is that nothing really has happened at church. You know what? I'm lying. Nothing that, that happened that hurts your feelings at church. I was about to say, I'm I lying. Had some it really church, and I only went to the church for two months a year for the anniversaries. That's what I was going to say. We only went to that church. We had stopped going so much. We only was there twice a year. And they found a way to hurt my feelings the one time I go to church I, the whole year. And that okay, was, but what about before you that left? church anniversary? You never had experienced any kind of hurt. I mean, before I, I left when I was from going there. So, what church? Hmm. What are you talking about? Have I ever experienced hurt? Yes, like the only hurt that I've ever experienced, or the only thing that I can really say about this is, the only hurt that I've ever felt is when he did leave, and I knew that that was gonna break the whole church apart. Mm-hmm. So that's not really to do with somebody saying something to me. Um, it's more to do with just traditions ruining the church, which is really what she was talking about. Traditions and just okay. these attitudes that people have in the church. And I understand that the church is not, um, you know, I, the church I go to ain't nothing like, you know, none of that. Well, um, I can say that that going to the church that we went to, I, my feelings were hurt plenty of times. Plenty of times. 
it was so I feel like it was just so much going on really that it wasn't really a church first of all because like as a child I don't ever think your feelings should get hurt in in that way like especially like as far as us when we tried to have a dance team or whatever and it was just like every time you do something it was a problem it was an issue oh y'all weren't covered up in this dance oh y'all did this dance move oh y'all did this every single time you try to do something which is supposed to be for god it's an issue or even with the choir Oh, that um, my, that's my church hurt right there. Even even with that, like a lot of the stuff that that we were trying to do, oh, it's a problem. See, and you had, and but see, where were you? You were in a position of what power? Weren't you the choir director? I was. And there was things that you wanted to do, and they you were told no. So that's what I'm saying. I don't have that much church hurt because I was never right. in a position. But you were on the dance team, so it never hurt your feelings. Like every time we did something, that they would have something negative to say. They didn't stop and us from doing it though, so I didn't care. Like you can talk all you want to talk, y'all. Yeah, open. And I, I just really took it more as old people. I didn't take it as them being malicious, which is really what it was. Yeah. That's, and I guess that was me just being innocent and naive. I didn't right. take it as them being malicious. I took it as them just being old people. So that's 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 how I thought. About right. It. I was like, these just some old fogies. And all they want to do, not really knowing these people actually really just don't like my mama, right. so they don't like me, and they don't want to mm-hmm. see me up there. Not just the mama, Lord, they don't like your family, like my yeah. whole family, because my family doesn't want the pastor to be the pastor anymore because he can't preach. Oh, it's us. Right, right. But yeah, a lot of that stuff that was said about us was because of of who we are, who we're related to, mm-hmm. and it had nothing to do with what we actually were doing mm-hmm. or trying to do. Right, when you're trying to do good things. And then, you know, people are putting you down. It wasn't it wasn't even because of anything that we did. It was just because of their hate toward people that we are related to or associated with. That's all it was. But yeah, so a lot a lot of a lot of that hurt my feelings when we used to dance or whatever. And then with the choir too. Uh but as I got older, it didn't really hurt my feelings. Like when I didn't go there, it didn't hurt my feelings because I was like, okay, they talking about y'all. They ain't talking about me because this right. ain't my church. Right. So if you got a problem with it, then oh well. And I'm lying. There is another thing that hurt my feelings. When they told me, like, my, you know, they, you know, that they, well, they don't know. So I'm going to tell everybody that they changed the choir name to my mama's name after she passed away. And when we left, they tried to change the name of the choir back. Not only of that choir, but another choir that name has been changed for over ten years. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's been fifteen, maybe two, maybe it ain't been twenty years yet. No, I, she, she died in two thousand four. Yeah. So it's been fourteen years. That's 14. What, so it's been fourteen years since his name has been changed on this particular choir, and they're trying to change it back simply because, um, you know, the choirs weren't doing what they wanted them to do. They they weren't in the choirs were praising. But my God. thing is, since when does the pastor have the authority to change the name of a choir that he doesn't even participate in? Right. He doesn't participate in. He doesn't like the choir. It's right. obvious he doesn't like the choir because of like I said, who was over it and who was playing for it and everything. The only person that played there for the last well, she was playing there for the last what forty years? Yeah. Yes. Forty years was there longer than he was there. But, you know, she she doesn't deserve that, but he probably is going to want the whole church name to be changed when he passes away. Right. He probably was trying to change it to his name. That's what I'm saying. I guess the the bigger picture here is, you know, people who have the power to make influential decisions don't, either they don't realize Mm -hmm. the power that they have, which I don't think that's the case with with that the situation we talking about now or the situation with Leandra Johnson. I'm sure right. that these people are acting out of arrogance and that is destructive. And I really hope I mean I, I I'm really trying not to be mean, but I hope in heaven that y'all are the janitors. Right. Like literally the janitors or somebody who cleans out the sewage. Or you clean up the gold the gold streets. Right. right. You, know wash the streets. you you wash you you're the street washer. Right. Because what you're supposed to be doing and I'm assuming what I can only assume what your call is because you're still there. Right. To do is, you know, a job and you're not doing it or you're doing it but causing other people to stumble or causing other people 
to run away from what they perceive to be God because right. that's all that the human eyes can see. Exactly. Because their spiritual eyes aren't developed enough exactly. to see to anything. See to see anything. And y'all right. just sitting here for the dumb person who's up there talking about what, what a Christian should be doing. So I'm assuming that the Holy Spirit came upon you the first day you were right. saved and told you that, right? Right. Because otherwise, how would you know that? Unless you went to a good church. Exactly. Or we ain't going to a good church because I really don't know what he was talking about. But I mean, you know, I, I thought, but a lot of people kind of take what mature Christians do and say, well, why don't y'all just do this? Yeah. They're not mature Christians. And see, that might be where that person is as well. Maybe they are spiritual all the time. Everybody ain't there though. Exactly. Right. And everybody, honestly, I mean, question of the day, does everybody really, because really some of these super spiritual people, I really be wondering if you really just spiritual or if you just opinionated. And I say opinionated, and right? Because because you know I really feel like people who say they spiritual like, and that's why I just I'm starting to hate labels. I'm such a millennial, and that's I hate why, labels. So that's much. why I didn't have a problem with her saying F the church because it's I, it's right now label. it's a label. Yeah, right it's now it's a label. Even, it don't even really mean anything as far as far as concerning me anyway. Because Grandma was mad about that. Grandma was like, uh uh-uh, you should never say nothing like that. And, there, and there's the disconnect. We are at a huge, the older generation is at a huge disconnect with the younger generation. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, it's huge. Yep. Two different generations, they don't get along at all. Right. Like, and we can't talk about certain stuff because it just literally ends in people bashing somebody else's character. Right. In some way. Because we don't have the same mindset. Right. And a lot of that stuff that they did, traditional things and having these, you know, ceremonies and all that stuff that they have, we don't do. So, um, it's just, that's one of the biggest um, issues too at church is just like the generational differences of the older and the younger. Like my grandma was completely done with Leandra Johnson after she heard um, that's what she said. She had to left the room. She was so mad because my mom was defending her. Talk about boy, that's how I feel too. Who? My mom was defending Leon. Yeah. But, but I want to end it with this funny um church hurt post that I had seen oh, on Facebook. And so this was about oh. deaf church people. And she was the yes. some yeah, like people that can't hear. So she was up to talk when the sign language person gets happy and leave them hanging. That's a real church hurt. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? I was weak when I seen that job. But that's what, you know, everybody started doing the church hurts. I don't know. Go right ahead. Hey, we're going to end on that note. And you guys have a great night.